Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 21 of my horror game tutorial series. So today I'm going to show you how to add this little pistol right here. And I'm going to correct a mistake I made in the beginning of the tutorial series. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you after the intro. Okay, so now we are inside of the Unity editor. Um, let's start by correcting a mistake I made in the beginning of the tutorial series. So let's go to the player and have a look at the transform component. So as you can see, uh, when we have a look at the scale, I scaled the player on the Y axis uh, to be taller. So I put it from 1 to 1.5. Never do that. I'm going to show you why. Don't follow what I'm going to do now. Just uh, look at it and then I think you will see why you shouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to add a cube to the camera to pretend this is our weapon that we're going to add in this episode. And then I'm going to scale it down a little bit so that it's around somewhere this size. Okay, this looks good. So let's go into the play mode. And now have a look when I move my camera in the game view and also in the scene view you can see that the cube is not behaving like it should be. First of all the cube is describing some kind of weird uh, curve and second of all as you can see uh, the collider is not matching up with the actual graphics. So there's something wrong with that. So the reason behind that is of course that I uh, scaled the player uh, on the y-axis. So if I set this to 1 for example or if I set it to 1 you can see that uh, this cube is behaving normally now which is good. So let's set the scale of the player to 1 again and now we have to make him bigger because now he is pretty small so we are going to go to the character controller component and increase his height to 2.5 and then we are going to the first person character which is the camera and we are going to bring it up to a Y position of 1 okay now we're going to delete the cube and now as you can see we are at the same height but uh, everything that we attach to the camera behaves in a normal way so now we have fixed uh, now that we have fixed this problem we can start with the actual content of this episode so first start by selecting the canvas safe and disable it and also grab the canvas player hut and disable it we are doing this because we are about to place a gun uh, at the character and for that we want to be able to see the game view and the scene view at the same time. Okay, now go to the Windows tab up here and then open up the asset store. You could also press Control 9 or I think Command 9 on a Mac. So click on it and then it will open up. And now we're going to search for gun. And then I'm going to sort it by price so that we can see the free ones first. So you can grab any of the uh, of those packages if you want. If you like any weapon in here, you can just grab it and use it in your project. But for my project, I'm going to go to the second page. And here is a pack called the Weapon HQ4 pack. And I think this pack has really good quality weapons and it's free so for me there's no uh, no reason to not use it so click on the download button um, it says import for me because I already downloaded it but just click on the download button and it will download and the rest will be the same uh, for me and for you so click on this button and then if you if your download has finished this window will uh, will open up and then scroll down and go to the weapon hq4.unity this is a scene 
disable it because we don't want a new scene in our project. We just want the content of this pack, which is uh, which are the weapons. Okay, so then click on the import button and Unity will do its thing and import it. Meanwhile, we can close the asset store by right clicking on the tab and then click close tab. And now if you go to the assets folder and have a look, you can see the weapon HQ4 folder has been imported. So let's drag it into the imported folder to keep everything organized and then we are going to open it up. And in the prefabs folder you can see we have five pistol prefabs and if we, ha uh, and if we have a look at them you can see they are really high quality and I really like those pistols a lot considering they are free, they are very good. And yeah, so just have a look at all of them and then pick a pistol you like. I'm personally going to use the pistol number 5 but you could really use any pick, uh, any pistol you like. So just drag the chosen uh, the pistol you chose into the hierarchy and then open up your player and the first person character and then drag the pistol into the first person character right here. Then right click on the transform component and select reset position which will then bring the weapon or the pistol uh, right to the center of the camera and then before you do anything else go to the camera and change the clipping planes to 0 0.01 you can just type in 0 and press enter which will uh, instantly set it to this value um, what it does is it determines how narrow things can be rendered so if there are very close objects they won't get rendered unless this value is very very small and in this case it is so the pistol will rend uh, will be rendered no matter uh, no matter what okay so let's select the pistol and let's start adjusting it so let's bring it forward a little then move it down and bring it to the right i think around here looks good okay so this looks good to me of course you can uh, play around with uh, with the position of the gun you can for example put it on the other side or bring it in the middle so it looks kind of like do uh, like the old school doom games or you can even bring it up like this but this is kind of pointless so why would you do that so yeah I'm going to leave it right there and what you could also do is go to your flashlight and you could adjust the spot angle to be a little bit wider so let's say it's 60 so the flashlight also illuminates our pistol from the side so that we have a clear look at it so now if I go into play mode you can see the pistol is following, uh, following us around and it looks good in my opinion and oh yeah I forgot one thing of course after you've placed your pistol remember to enable the canvas player hut and the canvas safe again so that uh, everything is working as before with the difference that we have a pistol now Okay, so that's everything for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this pistol shoot. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to smile. And until next time, bye guys.